side of our airport hubs for the most part. Maybe a little bit of rain around the Valdosta area to come, but at least we don't have any tropical hassles to hone in on for the short term. Long term, yes, there will probably be a couple more systems. One area of moisture in the uh, open Atlantic that has at least some low end potential may meander and wander around for a few days, but generally not rapid development expected with that. And then the wave of moisture that's been stuck in the southernmost Caribbean, that's going to linger and probably drift a little more to the west northwest through the weekend. There's still been some steady signals in the long range of some activity ramping up in the western Caribbean and then lifting to the north by this time next week. So uh, we're not completely done with the tropics quite yet. In the wide open Atlantic in the southern latitudes, not much of anything of big concern, but there is still at least the higher potential that we can cross another name, perhaps two off of the list, including the next name, which would be Epsilon. We're in the Greek letters, of course, and then Zeta follows that. Back in 2005, Zeta was the last Greek letter used. However, in post-season analysis, an unnamed tropical system was named, well, was identified. It didn't get a name, but it was still a tropical storm. We'd have to get to Ada to tie the record amounts for the Atlantic hurricane season, 28 storms. We're not far off. However, local